In my first video about Google My Maps, I gave you an overview of the opportunities that My Maps offers. Today we want to create markers in My Maps. We will create it at searched locations, locations on the map and create markers with the marker tool. After creating markers, we will edit them by adding icons, pictures, descriptions and more. Hello, my name is Thomas. I'm your AutoTech instructor. I'm your expert in auto navigation, fitness apps and trackers. After introducing Google My Maps, it's finally time to get to know this application better. The best way to do this is to create markers. This is probably the most popular use of My Maps and is easy to learn. We will do the following steps together. We create markers in three different ways. We rename markers and edit icons. We add description and photo to markers. To use Google My Maps you only need a Google account. If you don't have one yet, register and log into it. When you are logged into Google, open Google Maps. Then open the menu, select your places. The last tab, Maps, is Google My Maps. Here you will find a list of all your created and visited maps. To start a new map, just click Create Map on the bottom. The tools for the editor can be found in the top left. You don't need to change the name of the map because you can do that whenever you want. Change names by clicking on it and rewrite it. This works for maps and layers. Clicking at markers and shapes will open an extra, uh, an extra window to edit. On the left side you will find the layers. At the beginning there is only one layer. You create new layers via add layer. A map can have a maximum of 10 layers. A layer can contain markers and shapes or a root. Remember the limits of markers and shapes a layer can contain. I was talking about it in the introduction video of my maps. The link to the video is displayed on the top right and also in the video description. A root always needs its own layer. If you have created several layers with a lot of markers and roots, you can switch off the display of the layers with a check mark while editing, otherwise it could get confusing. So this works like this. So uncheck it and check it to display the content of the layer. Markers and shapes can be moved to other layers but not to layers of roots. For the base map you can choose between 9 different map styles. The default map of Google Maps, a satellite map, here a terrain map and much more. Next to the layer window is a Google Maps search box and other tools. You can redo and undo changes selecting items, there is no item yet, or moving the map. By drawing lines, you create shapes. At directions creates a layer with a root. There were a lot of explanations now. Let's get into practice. Let's place some markers on the map. Markers can be placed in different ways. To find a place using the search box. Google Maps now offers a search result. Choose the first one by clicking on it. So I will try it with Boston. Your selected search result will now be displayed above the layers. If you search for frequently occurring place or enter the search word with the enter key, many places can be displayed there. So I will try this by parks. and there will be a list of many parks displayed. 
but it's only a search result to set a desired location as a marker. You either have to set it in the list with a plus sign, select the location in the list or click to the marker here on the list and add it to the map. So let's get back to Boston. Set it as marker. Close the marker window by the X or click into the map. You can also select a location on the map and set it as a marker. The Super Bowl is coming soon, then we will place a marker on the Super Bowl Stadium. Now we have two markers in our layer. To rearrange arrange them, you can drag and drop them. In this way you can also move markers into another layer. So here is the example. Move it to the other layer. And we will move it back. And delete this layer. With the marker tool you can place a marker anywhere on the map. Let's try that. Center the map over the Lincoln Memorial in Washington. Activate the marker tool and click on the building. Save and close the window. Do you already know Komoot? With Komoot you can plan, navigate and record tools for cycling, hiking and running. In this video I'll show you how to navigate with the Komoot app. You can see the link in the top right corner and you can also find it in the video description. We have placed some markers, now let's give it a useful name and icon. Take the marker from the Lincoln Memorial and rename it to Washington. Click on the marker on the map, then click on edit and change the name. Click save and close the window. Now we want to assign a useful icon to the marker. Click on the marker for Raymond James Stadium. Choose style. Here you can change the color of the marker but you can also choose a new icon. Click for more icons. Here you have a large selection of icons which are arranged according to different categories. Football should be a good icon. Select this icon and click OK. Give it the color brown. A football is brown, isn't it? The stadium is now located by a football marker. Isn't that stylish? Repeat the process for the other for the other markers and assign each marker a new icon and color. Your markers now have a name and a nice icon. Now all that's missing is a good description of the place and a photo. Click at on the Ray Raymond James Stadium again. This marker already has a description. If you have chosen a location from search or from the map, this will be very often. You can keep this description. You can add your own description or you can delete the description and replace it entirely with your own description. It's up to you. I keep the description from Google Maps and now click on Preview. Then choose Raymond James Stadium and get the description. 
if you kept the Google description, most of the time you, you'll still see the address, website, phone number and pictures. If you hadn't kept anything, you will only see your description here. Then you should definitely add a photo. Close the preview tab and open a marker window. Now I remove the Google description and I use the boring copy paste of Wikipedia description. Just clearing some notes here. And then save. Click on add image or video. Here you can upload your own pictures, use your pictures from Google, etc. I got a picture link from Wikipedia and want to insert this picture. Pass the image link, wait for the preview, then click select. Then save description with the photo. You can also add more photos. Close the marker window and click preview again. Now choose the Raymond James Stadium again. Your description and photo will be shown now. Here is my example for Washington DC with a Wikipedia text and three photos. Hopefully you've learned a lot about Google My Maps. In the next tutorial we will plan a route. Keep the map and we will use it for route planning. If the video was helpful then please give me a thumbs up. If you subscribe to my channel and activate the bell, you'll never miss a video of my channel. I'm Thomas and I'm already looking forward to the next time.